On Beyond Zebra by Dr. Seuss. You know, someone told me this book was banned. I don't know who banned it or why they banned it, but I want to read you this story because it's super fun. I really like the imagination of this book and I hope you do too. Let's get started. Said Conrad Cornelius O'Donnell O'Dale, my very young friend who is learning to spell. The A is for ape and the B is for bear, the C is for camel and H is for hare, the M is for mouse and the R is for rat. I know all the 26 letters like that. Through Z is for zebra. I know them all well, said Conrad Cornelius O'Donnell O'Dell. So now I know everything anyone knows from beginning to end, from the start to the close, because Z is as far as the alphabet goes. Then he almost fell flat on his face on the floor when I picked up the chalk and drew one letter more, a letter he had never dreamed of before. And I said, you can stop if you want with the Z because most people do stop with Z, but not me. Oh, in the places I go, there are things that I see that I never could spell if I stopped with that Z. I'm telling you this because you're one of my friends. My alphabet starts where your alphabet ends. So on beyond zebra, explore like Columbus, discover new letters right here. This is one for Wombus, my high spouting whale who lives high on a hill and never comes down till it's time to refill. So on beyond Z, it's high time you were shown that you really don't know all there is to be known. And just a step further past wum is for wumbus, you'll find um, and that um is for umbus, a sort of a cow with one head and one tail. But to milk this great cow, you need more than one pail. She has 98 faucets. Look how far it goes. That gives milk quite nicely. Perhaps 99, I forgot just precisely, and boy, she is something most people don't see because most people have stopped at the Z, but not me. Here's another letter. I ramble, I scramble through swamp and through swamp where the letters get better. Letters like humph. Now that's a real handy letter. Now what's handy about it? You cannot spell humph, humph, a dumpfer without it. If you stay home with zebra, you are stuck in a rut. But on beyond zebra, you're anything but. Why? I know a fine, fancy letter called Fuddle. I use it in spelling Miss Fuddle D. Duddle. And oh, what a bird of a bird of a... Her tail is the longest that's ever been heard of. So long and so fancy, she'd be in a fix if she didn't have helpers. It takes about six to tag along, hoisting Miss Fuddle D. Duddle's wonderful tail out of the muddle D. Puddles. Look, I see him keeping the tail out of the puddles. Here's another letter for us. And Glick is for Glicker, who lives in wild weeds and spends his time juggling fresh cinnamon seeds, which he's usually able, usually able to find in great number, excepting, of course, in the month of September, when cinnamon seeds aren't around in great number. So that month, he jiggles with seeds of cucumber. Another letter, and N is the letter I use to spell Nutches, who live in small caves known as niches for hutches. These Nutches have troubles, the biggest of which is the fact that there are many more Nutches than niches. Each Nutch in a niche knows that some other Nutch would like to move into his niche very much. So each Nutch in a niche has to watch that small niche or Nutches who haven't got niches will snitch. Another letter. And then we go on to snee. 
and the sneeze for Sneedle, a terrible kind of ferocious mosquito, whose humdinger stinger is sharp as a needle. The Sneedle's too tough to be killed with a smack, so he has to be hunted on an elephant back and your eyes, and the elephants have to be keen, and you have to aim fast, and you have to hit clean, and the bullet you shoot is a stale navy bean that you've dunked for three weeks in old sour kerosene, which is awfully hard work. So it's easy to see why most people stop at the Z, <laughs> not me. When you go beyond zebra, who knows? There is no telling what wonderful things you might find yourself spelling like Quan is for Quandry, who lives on a shelf in a hole in the ocean all by himself. And he worries each day from the dawn's early light. He worries, just worries far into the night. He just stands there and worries. He simply can't stop. Is his top side his bottom or his bottom side up? And Thnad is for Thnadners. And oh, are they sad. Oh. The big one you see has a smaller one's shadow, and the shadow the small fnatter has should be his. I don't understand it, but that's how it is. A terrible mix-up in shadows. Gee whiz. Can you see that? See, the little one should have a little shadow, but it has big, and the big one has a little shadow. Okay, let's move on. And spaz is a letter I use to spell spasm a beast who belongs to the Nazim of Basim, handy for traveling. That's why he has them. More easy to pack than a suitcase or grip. These horns carry all that he needs on a trip. A thread and a needle for knitting a sock, says toothbrush a cup, and two three-handed clocks. And his velvet umbrella, his vegetable chopper, and also his gold-plated popping corn popper, and a grasshopper cage for his favorite grasshopper. You see that little grasshopper in a cage right there? Oh my, the letters we are learning today. Here's another new one. And flube is for flu boober bo 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 boober bobs who bounce in the water like blubbery tubs. They're no good to eat. You can't cook them like steaks, but they're handy in crossing small oceans and lakes. And zats is the letter I use to spell Zatsit, whose nose is so high that nobody pats it. And patting his lonely old nose is the least that a fellow could do for this fine, friendly beast. So to get there and do it, I built an invention, the three-seater Zatsit nose painting extension. If you try to drive one, it looks hard to drive, You'll certainly see why most people stop at the Z, but not me. And jog is my letter for spelling jogoons who doodle around in the far desert dunes, just doodle around crooning very sad tunes about peppermint, peanuts, and pebbles, and prunes, and paint pots, polka dots, pinheads, and pigs, and their grandmothers, grandfathers, stepsisters, wigs. So you see, there is no end of the things you might know depending on how far beyond zebra you go. I've got a letter called Flun, and the Flun is for Flunnel, a softish, nice fellow who hides in a tunnel. He only comes out of his hole, I'm afraid, when the right kind of softish, nice music is played. On a kind of a hunting horn called the Ogrunt. And to learn how to play it, it takes month after month of practicing. Practicing isn't much funna. And besides, it's quite heavy, weighs almost a tonna. That's why few people bother to play the ogrunth. So the funnel's been out of his tunnel just once. And way, way past C is a letter called itch. And the itch is for itchapods, animals which race around back and forth forth and back through the air on a very high sidewalk between here and there. They're afraid to stay there. They're afraid to stay here. They think there is too far. They think here is too near. And since here is too near and out there is too far, they are scared to roost wherever they are. There's a letter called Yek. And the Yek is for Yekko who howls in an underground grotto and gecko. These Yekos love echoes and this is their motto. For best echo 
Yekko, Echoes, Trigecko, our Grotter. Oh, the things you can find if you don't stay behind on a world near the sun live two brothers called Vrooms, who strangely enough are built kind of like brooms. And they're stuck all alone up there high in the blue. And so just to kill time for something to do, each one of these fellows takes turns with the other in sweeping the dust off the world with his brother. And high is my letter for high gargle orum. For getting me places real fast, I'm all for them. They puffle along in their brakes, never squeak, and they run every hour every day of the week from the town of North Nub to the town of East Ounce, making stops at West Bunglefield, Yupster, and Jounce, and at Ipswich and Nipswich, and also South Bounce, and another small town that's <laughs> too hard to pronounce. The places I took him, I tried hard to tell young Conrad Cornelius, O'Donnell, O'Dell, a few brand new wonderful words he might spell. I led him around and I tried hard to show there are things beyond Z that most people don't know. I took him past Zebra as far as I could and I think perhaps maybe I did him some good because finally he said this is really great stuff and I guess that old alphabet isn't enough. Hold on, I missed the page, sorry. Now, the letters he uses are something to see. Most people still stop at the Z. Woo, but not he. Here's a list of letters for the people who are not gonna stop at Z. Yuz, glick, spaz, itch, wum, na, flub, yuck, um, snee, zats, vru, hump, quan, jog, Hi, Fuddle, Fnad, Flun, and what do you think we should call this one anyway? Anyhow, I don't know. Fun story. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a long one. I'll just say bye.